So what I would like to begin with today personally and as a woman by saying, for instance, the question that's been on all of our minds. For example, why and how can this remain a problem for us as women? And the other day, for instance, Trisha Lowell, hey there, Trisha, we were discussing the prevalence of this thing that keeps coming up and how it's a real shame that none of us are really talking about it with our community of women. And yes, I know, like, where's the club? Sign me up, etc. But hey, I'm serious. Why is it I keep thinking? I keep thinking maybe I think too much. It makes me complain. Really, we've come a long way, baby, but more seriously. What I want to begin with, personally, as a woman, is this thing that Vanessa plays here, that Vanessa and I and Holly Malgar, hey Holly, who's not here, and Melissa, hey, hey guys, we were talking about in great detail, but we kept circling around this issue. For instance, let's say there's a situation in which you see that there is a problem, and are you going to say something about it? And for example, let's say, if hypothetically, there is some opposition, or you perceive a hostile environment. Now, even though I know we're all surrounded by feminists, say they are at the Kaufman, and there's no question that all our friends are good people, right? But still, it's like this one good example of a conundrum showing up in multiple situations for me as a woman, personally. For example, in a place where you wouldn't expect this issue to show up. And as a woman, I feel very strongly about what Sarah Darling, Hayley, Sarah, and Rachel Zolf and I were talking about, hey, and I feel that there is a goddamn difference. And I don't mean to upset anyone, really, and please don't ask me how I mean this exactly. But it is important, and really, there is a goddamn reason to point out the difference between asking a question and demanding an answer. Hey, guys. Domestic. Master bathroom. Dirty bathroom tile, cracked bathroom molding, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the metal shower head, cleaning the plastic shower head, preventing mildew, removing mildew, cleaning soap scum, cleaning toothpaste patches, yellowed bathtub, scratched bathtub, matted shower mat, moldy shower mat, old shower mat, stains on shower mat, smudged shower door, rusty medicine cabinet, crowded medicine cabinet, empty medicine cabinet, rusty toilet bowl, yellowing toilet bowl, leaking toilet bowl. Master closet. Folding pants in two, folding shirts in four, folding shirts in two, hanging skirt on rail, hanging dress on rail, placing shoe on shelf, placing sandal on shelf, placing flip flop on shelf, doubling socks in ball, doubling bra in ball, doubling briefs in ball, folding tights in ten, folding stockings in ten, folding jeggings in ten, folding t shirt in four, folding glass in three, folding bath towels in two, folding hand towels in three, folding washcloths in two, folding dishcloths in three, Folding tablecloths in four, folding dinner yeah, napkins in three, folding flat sheet in eight, folding fitted sheet in eight, folding pillowcase in four, moving socks to the drawer, moving shirts to the drawer, moving pants to the drawer, moving blouses to the drawer, moving tights to the drawer, moving stockings to the drawer, moving jeggings to the drawer, hanging belt on nail, hanging bag on nail, hanging purse on nail. Kids' bedroom. Removing mud stains, removing blood stains, removing cum stains, removing wine stains, removing glue stains, removing chicken grease stains, removing grape juice stains, removing staples from flesh, removing gum from hair, removing doors from the toilet, removing fish from the toilet, removing socks from the toilet, removing hands from cookie jar. Not from personal experience. <laughs> My dove. Ariel is my love, is my laundry detergent, my dove. Bounty is my love, is my paper towel, my dove. Brawn is my love, is my toothbrush, my dove. Crest is my love, is my toothpaste, my dove. Dawn is my love, is my dishwashing detergent, my dove. Dove is my love, is my body soap, my love. Duracell is my love, is my battery, my dove. Fusion is my love, is my razor, my dove. Gain is my love, is my fabric softener, my dove. Gillette is my love, is my shaving cream, my dove. Head and shoulders is my love, is my shampoo, my dove. Old Spice is my love, is my aftershave, my dove. Dove is my love, is my body soap, my dove. Tag is my love, is my body spray, my dove. Tide is my love, is my detergent, my dove. Vix is my love, is my balm, my dove. Wella is my love, is my mousse, my dove. Whisper is my love, is my panty liner, my dove. Dove is my love, is my body soap, my love. And now I'm going to read from a book called Sutures. It's 
sutras at the picnics. Doe, a deer. Now when you pull up, you will see that the pattern is created. Our goal now is to duplicate the pattern all the way down the womb. Notice the pattern that is created. We will continue the stitching pattern for over the course of the incision. A female deer. They saw it when it rolls up, they love it when its lovers suddenly howl. They saw it pulls love where it hurls. They saw lull skin pulled over its eyes. They saw a problem like Maria. A deer, a female deer. We have discovered that the natural subject enters between the 12th and 13th rib because with its rib split the carcass almost in quarters, this blossom of snow makes this cut straight and neat because the natural subject locates the exact place between the ribs on the inside of the carcass and makes the cut about five centimeters from the midline of the flank of the small and white natural subject because the subject is beloved and always it is wholly drawn and wholly quartered because the blossom of the subject finds herein the guidelines to slaughter and thus this solves the problem identified in the figure before you. Ray, a drop of golden sun. Our goal now is to duplicate the pattern all the way down the wound. Notice the pattern that is created. We will continue the stitching pattern over the course of the incision. Now when you pull up, you will see that a pattern is being created. A drop. They saw the willow wisp a clown, they saw its levels hurl, they love its throat spills a lot of hills, they saw it with a cowbell round its neck, they love it as it stoops to back, they saw it as a wimple pulls where it hurts, they saw Maria, a darling, a demon, a lamb. We have discovered that the flank part of the natural subject should be left attached until the blossoming quarter is ready to be carried to the cutting table. Because the snow saws the backbone in half, making the cut even with the buck that was made for the knee to produce a smooth and attractive beloved to the small and white, small and white and clean end of the loin. Because it makes this cut from the inside of the natural subject blossoming in the snow, and thus this solves the problem identified in the figure before you. Me, a name I call myself, far, a long, long way to run. They saw the name I call, they love it when it pulls up, they saw a hornet, a headache, an angel as Maria. They saw its hull and salt swathed to lap, they love an angel, a headache, a girl, they love body sodden, they love it when its lovers sudden howl, and they saw as Maria when it pulls, they saw where it hurts, a name I call myself a problem like Maria. Hmm. So, a needle pulling thread. Our goal now is to duplicate the pattern that is all the way around the wound. Now when you pull up, you will see the pattern that is created. Notice the pattern that is created. Are you noticing the pattern that is being created? A note to follow, a needle pulling, they solve a flippity give it. When it plumps up, they solve it. As it stoops blunt over, they love its riddle. Maria is a child, they love its stroke, its levels hurl. They solve when it holds, when it pulls up. Maria rubs, plumps, loves. Flighty as a feather, teeth pulling thread. We have discovered that almost always tissues from the natural subjects are darker in color because at times the fat on some blossoms from young snows will be dark yellow because it is not uncommon for aged subjects to have carcasses with yellow fat because at times the subject will suffer from stress prior to slaughter and signs of their reaction will be evident in the carcass identified in the figure before you. La, a note to follow, so, tea, a drink with jam and bread. So, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. Can you do that? So, do, la, ti, do, re, do. Can you do that? So, do, la, fa, mi, do, re. Can you do that? So, do, la, ti, do, re, do. Can you do that? They solve a problem like Maria. With jam and bread, jam and bread, drink with jam, jam and bread, jam and bread, jam and bread, drink with jam, jam and bread. Did you hear the one about the Polish rapist? At the police lineup, he yelled, that's her. Did you hear the one about the 12 guys who were raping a German woman? She screamed, nine, nine, so three of them left. They say that the more you have sex, the better you get at it. That's stupid. 
I've raped a lot of women, they always end up sobbing. Who wants to play a rape game? No? That's the spirit. When I was 14, my dad caught me out drinking. I said, Dad, it's the first time, I swear. He said, that's a lie. No one gets caught doing anything the first time. So the next night, I went out and raped someone. I just found out the rape hotline is only for victims. I was raping a woman the other night. She cried, please think of my children, kinky bitch. What do you do if you're walking in the snow and come across an unconscious naked girl who looks like she's been raped? Check your bearings, you're walking in circles. My wife was raped by a mime. He performed unspeakable acts. If I fuck the wife when she's asleep, is it rape? Oh, and what do I do if the husband wakes up? Rape, it's not a walk in the park. They can't call it rape if they don't have a tongue. It's not rape if you don't come inside. It's just a very angry cuddle. Which organ in the female body remains warm after death? My cock. I like to call my cock the fountain of youth. Girls that drink from it never get old. My favorite sexual position is the JFK. I splatter all over her and she screams and tries to get out of the car. It must be hard for a woman to get raped, otherwise it doesn't go in properly. Silence is golden, duct tape is silver. A Russian, a Pole, and a German are sitting in a prison cell. The Russian comes up to the German holding a candy bar and says, you want this? The German thinks he'll probably want to fuck me for this and says no. The Russian then comes up to the Pole and says, you want this? The Polish guy thinks he'll probably want to fuck me for this, but hell, I'm a strong guy. I'll just tell him to piss off and says yes. After he finishes eating the candy bar, the Russian says, good? Yes. Big guy, aren't you? Yes? Great. Hold down the German for me. What do black men do after sex? Fifteen to life. What do white men do after sex? Black men. How do you stop a Mexican valet raping your wife? Seriously, he's been at it for hours and I want my car back. I raped a packy girl last night. Her parents arranged it. My old dad used to say, if you know the answer is going to be no, then there's no point even asking. Best bit of dating advice I ever heard. What's small, shiny, and makes women want to have sex? A pen knife. Yesterday I made a rape trip and my friend said, hey, my wife got raped and it's not funny. I said, sorry, when did this happen? Last week, he replied. Oh, I said, was it behind the bus station? A man walks up to a woman in a bar and says, you're going to get lucky tonight. She says, what are you, psychic? He says, no, just stronger. I told my boss, sorry I'm a few minutes late. My sister was raped this morning. Is she all right, he asked. Yeah, I said, not bad at all. A female friend of mine said to me, I've often wondered if I'm strong enough to stop someone from raping me. Turns out she's not. I had rough, aggressive sex with my girlfriend last night. It's not my thing, but she started it. First she said she didn't want to have sex with me. Then she said she wasn't my girlfriend. Then she said she was just waiting for a bus. My daughter started to become interested in sex. Finally, she used to just lie there and cry. I got drunk last night, raped my daughter, and now I feel terrible. Took some aspirin, but the headache's still there. Losing my virginity was like learning to ride a bicycle. My dad was behind me all the way. I've always been told it's not rape if you yell surprise first. <coughs> Girls love surprises. Girls love sex. So why is it when they're combined they don't love it nearly so much? Apparently 10% of women fantasize about being raped. Well, if you're one of those and you're in the Barnsley area, tonight could be your lucky night. I asked my girlfriend if she wanted to hear my latest rape joke. She said no, but I went ahead and told her anyway. 
What's the difference between a joke and three cocks? The girl we met last night couldn't take a joke. I followed a girl down a dark alley last night. She suddenly noticed me behind her, so I said, don't worry, I'm not a rapist, I'm just walking home. She said, that's what a rapist would say. Turns out she was right. I saw a stunning blonde in the park last night. You're gorgeous, I said, are you a model? Yes, she smiled, by the Daily Star, and you'll see me on page three. Well, love, tomorrow I said you're gonna make the front page. I met a girl on holiday, and after a few drinks, we decided to go for a stroll. So what do you do, she inquired. If I tell you I have to kill you, I replied with a cheeky grin. Oh, so you're some sort of secret agent, she said, clearly unimpressed. Try again, I said. My girlfriend yelled at me, stop making jokes about rape. How do you think the women feel? Depends on the size, I said. The great thing about blondes is they don't know it's rape. Jumped a girl in the alley the other night. Rape, rape, she cries. Cool, I think. She wants it twice. Went up to a girl in the bar and she said, do you like movies? Not really, she said. That's a pity, I say, because you're about to experience strong language, extreme violence, and scenes of a sexual nature. I never do well with women. They always want to hug, cuddle, and pillow talk after sex. I just like to slam the trunk shut and push the car into the river. Fishing and rape, they have much in common. They both start with a lot of waiting around in secluded areas, followed by a sudden rush of excitement. Then the old dilemma, do I kill it or let it go? They say dead men don't rape. On the other hand, dead women don't say no. Was out with my mates last birthday, uh, for my mate's birthday last night. Before going, he shouted, let's celebrate tonight like there's no tomorrow. So I raped three underage girls and murdered a couple of childs. Favorite pickup line, hey, does this ride smell like chloroform or is it just me? Favorite pickup line, get into the van. I like my women, how I like my light bulbs, easily turned on, not too bright, and hung from my ceiling with electrical table. If God doesn't need a woman's consent to get her pregnant, why the fuck should I? Great, because I'm a lover and a fighter. My friend just divorced his wife. He said to me, marriage is like prison. I said, that's not true. At least in prison you get to have anal sex. I followed a woman through the park last night. As I got closer, she started running, so I ran after her when I finally caught her. I said, do you have a cigarette? Thank God, she said, I thought you were going to rape me. Right, I said, the cigarette is for after. Last night I stopped a woman in the park and said, give me your purse before I rape you. She instantly handed me her purse and said, take it. I said, thanks for cooperating. Sometimes after I rape a woman, I feel guilty about taking her purse. I like my women like I like my Christmas trees, illegally taken in the forest. Women are like cinemas. I normally have to pay to enter them, but sometimes I force my way in through the back door. Immigrants enter this country illegally. Their spouses enter this country illegally. Their children enter this country illegally. Their relatives enter this country illegally. And yet they still complain when I enter them illegally. I go into this pub and I this woman at the bar and she looks at me and says, as if you had a chance. I say, as if you had a choice. What's the difference between rape and murder? My mood. Birth, the first time I was forced out of a vagina. Chloroform, putting the sensual into non-consensual. Coma, nature's consent. Rape, just like regular sex, but with a winner. Rapists, they come and go. If rape is so wrong, why did God make men stronger than women? Rape is a nine-letter word. There's a silent woman at the end of it. What's the difference between necrophilia and date rape? Body temperature. I learned about sex from cutlery, forking followed by spooning followed by knifing. If at first you don't succeed, drink her, drug her, make it bleed. I have this fetish I act out with my girlfriend where I break into her bedroom all crazy and rape her. Either that or I pretend she's my girlfriend. Ever since my wife was brutally raped, she has no sex drive, which explains why she keeps being, being brutally raped. 
I walked up to a woman in a bar, told her I wore size 14 shoes. She looks at me clearly unimpressed and says, let me guess, do you know what they say about guys with large feet? No, I say, I'm just telling you there's no point in running. I was brutally raped in prison. If my dad thinks I'm ever going to visit him again, he can fuck right off. Apparently, Ramadan is not to be taken literally. Sorry again, Dan. I love Halloween. Who's going to take any notice of one more screaming schoolgirl in torn clothes covered in blood? I remember this guy who used to cry after sex. I put my arm around him and said, Now remember, if the guards asked, you fell, okay? They say all women have rape fantasies, so they aren't all that different to men after all. Lots of men give women nights they'll never forget. I prefer to give them nights they'll never remember. I once shagged a woman into unconsciousness. Just joking, she was unconscious when I found her. The police asked me to participate in a lineup. I said, yeah, no prob, I'd love to see her again. As a judge, I'm constantly faced with the same dilemma. The black guy obviously did it, but then again, the woman is always wrong. Braxton, the only place where it's considered worse to be an American than a rapist. A Catholic priest has spoken of an outrage at that man in Sheffield who raped and impregnated his two daughters. He said, abortion is a sin. They say that the only effective form of birth control is to just say no. Unfortunately, it's not successful 100% of the time. Statistically, only one in 10 people don't like gang rape. Try to gang rape the other night, but it's practically impossible to pin down 10 black guys. Only 6% of all rape cases end in conviction. Anyone else like those odds? Ladies, if you want to avoid becoming just another rape statistic, don't report it. I like to watch rape trials. When the defendant is found not guilty, I follow the victim home and rape her. I mean, who's going to believe her? Half of me is a clown, the other half a rapist. Most women just don't see my fun side. There's no I in you. Yet. Hit her at 50 miles an hour and you're a killer. Hit her at 30 miles an hour and she'll survive but be badly injured. Hit her at 10 miles an hour and she'll be stunned but not injured, giving you about a 10 minute window. People say, a minute on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. I say, a minute on the lips, a couple of thrusts and I'm done. I live for sex, unlike my victims who have sex to live. A large number of people said they would like to die during sex, so call me a people pleaser. There's only one thing worse than raping a feminist, not raping a feminist. They say two wrongs don't make a right. On the other hand, I rape pedophiles. Rape victims are like hot water bottles. Nice when you first go to bed, you get sick of it at 3 a.m. and find it stone cold on the floor in the morning. A pervert is stud and a rapist walk into the bar. They look at a girl in the corner. The pervert says, I would. The stud says, I have. The rapist says, I will. Some people don't like rape jokes. I find it helps break the awkward silence after. The credit crunch is like watching your dad get raped by a clown. You know it's going to affect you, but you're not sure exactly how. According to statistics, 90% of rapes are committed by someone the victim knew. But shouldn't that really say someone the victim thought they knew? You know what I think about people who don't like rape jokes? Fuck them. How many rapists does it take to change a life bulb? Um, who the fuck rapes in the light? I've got this really funny joke about rape. Actually, you had to be there. <laughs>